Hey boys, it's Harm Nun. Today we're going to be customizing the BF Dune FAV in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar with the Dune, it is a, well, it's obviously a Dune buggy and it's also an armed Dune buggy. So this thing, um, it's a pretty okay vehicle. I'm not going to say that it's great. Uh, obviously it is on sale this week, which is the entire reason that I am customizing it. Normally I would not be customizing this thing. It is uh, it, it is a unique vehicle. That's for sure. Um, there, I mean, it's a Dune buggy. You can't really get many Dune buggies in GTA online. And I believe this is the only armed Dune buggy in the entire game. Now, of course, because it is armed, we have to upgrade it in the MOC so that's where I'm heading to right now and I will see you guys there in a second and here we are at the MOC so of course it's been a long time since I've actually customized the Dune FAV um, I do believe that I actually have one of these in my facility I can't remember if I actually do or not so anyways I'm excited to customize this thing it has been a very very long time since I've customized it so we're gonna go ahead and uh, see what we can do to this thing we're gonna go ahead and start off with the armor as usual all the way up on that the armor plating now we can put medium armor or we can put light armor on this thing um the light armor is interesting it only really adds that little shield of course we can't put the medium plating which does actually less i do believe um i kind of like the light armor plating but the medium kind of i don't know i feel like it's more useful looking so we'll put that on for the brakes we're gonna go all the way up on those obviously we want this thing to perform as well as we can now we can have the primary camo netting on this or the secondary camo netting let's go for the secondary camo um because i'm interested to see what we can do with that for the engine we're gonna go all the way up on that for the lights we are gonna go xenon because i like the look of that a little bit better now for the livery we do have a bunch of different camo options that we can go for on this vehicle obviously we are gonna go for for a camo it does look pretty cool in the flat sand color but i do like the camo on it a little bit better now usually what i'll go for is an urban camo uh, i think it's the no maybe, maybe it's not urban no i believe it's the i think it's the urban warrior camo is what i usually go for um it does look pretty good uh we could also go for something a bit different we could go for you know what we could go for the um the nature reserve camo i've never done that on this thing it does look pretty cool let's go for that for right now we'll probably change it up later we'll see what happens of course this thing you can equip it with a proximity mine dropper so we're going to add that onto the vehicle it's going to make it a little more useful so obviously we like that now for the color we could go for something adventurous like the crew color for example it looks a little ugly in my opinion uh we could also go for a matte color um, i do feel like the matte colors look really good on this thing because i think it just makes more sense that it's matte rather than like a nice metallic color you know what i mean um it does look really good so we'll, we'll scroll through these colors we'll see which one we uh which one we like the best obviously this thing looks pretty good in like you know a military sort of look uh so obviously the matte forest greens and all that sort of stuff they're gonna look the best uh, desert tan in my opinion does look really really good so we'll go for desert tan i know that's not changing it very much from uh from its original look we'll see we might uh, we might end up changing this after as well now for the secondary color we can change this into a uh, a different color um we could go for something like a like a forest green or something like that we could go for a black as well to make the camo netting black let's actually go for the black uh for the secondary color for the suspension we are gonna hmm, should we lower it or keep it raised let's go street suspension so it's a little bit lower but not all the way down race transmission we are going to add that onto the vehicle the turbo we're going to add that too for weapons we can equip instead of this machine gun here we can go for the 40 millimeter grenade launcher or of course the 762 minigun um, now the machine gun that's on this thing it does okay damage it does probably about the same damage as the handheld mg that you can get for your character we can go for the grenade launcher that's going to cause some uh some explosive uh, explosions around so kind of dangerous for this vehicle and it also has reduced ammo capacity or limited ammo capacity whereas both of these uh, have infinite ammo that you can have we are going to go for the minigun because in terms of usefulness i feel like it's the best option there now for the wheels i do want to go for some off-roads and of course we're going to go for the concave mega mesh or uh, sorry the concave rally master not the concave mega mesh the concave rally master these look really good in my opinion i think they're the best looking off-road rim so we'll go for that now we can change the color of these as well um although it does in my opinion look really really good in the black uh we could go desert tan on them though if we want to 
Um, I think just to break up the color, maybe we will go for a desert tan on this. Uh, for the tires, we are going to go bulletproof, of course. We could add a tire design as well. I'm not a big fan of it, though, so we'll leave it off. And, of course, this thing does not have any window tint, um, so we'll, we'll just leave that alone. Now, the thing is, do we want to go for a different color, or do we want to keep this color? Do we want to change the livery up? What do we want to do here? I am interested to see what the urban warrior camo looks like on this thing in a different color so i'm actually going to equip that really fast and we're going to go down here and we're going to see what a matte black looks like and if this is yes this is the camo that i usually do on all of my military vehicles i have to say it does look pretty good and I am a fan of it. So I think I'm actually going to switch up the customization and go for that instead. And for the camo netting color, I think I might go for a desert tan on that uh, to just change up the color a little bit more. And we're going to go back to the wheels now. And uh, we're actually going to switch the wheel color, I think, back to black because I think it makes the most sense. I feel like it looks pretty good. This thing is looking pretty mean. I do like the uh, all the details with it. Like... I like that the gun is sand colored sort of and everything like that. I like that some of the bags are sand colored. The guns on the sides of the vehicle are also sand colored. So I think this is a good customization. I feel like this is a good look for the vehicle. So I think we're pretty much done with the customization. We're going to take this thing down to the ground or outside of the MOC, I guess. And uh, we're going to do a full sound test on the vehicle and of course a full review as well. So let's hop out there. All right, here we are outside of the MOC. Uh, so let's let's take a listen to how this thing sounds. It sounds like a dune buggy. Um, it, it doesn't sound great, to be honest, but it doesn't sound bad either. It's just not a very like satisfying sort of sound, but that's okay. It's uh, it's not really meant to be a uh, performance vehicle. It's not exactly supposed to sound great. Um, so the BF Dune FAV, it is a very good vehicle, I would say. Um, is it super useful? Probably not, but it is a good vehicle. Now this thing's on sale right now for about $650,000 if you do not have the trade price and around 500k if you do have the trade price. So it is relatively cheap right now. However, for that price, there are a lot of really useful vehicles you could get instead of this thing. So you just got to be uh, be mindful of that. Be wary of that. Um, it's not the most useful vehicle at its price point, that's for sure. Now the Dune FAV, as far as performance goes, this thing does have relatively good acceleration up to a very low top speed. Now the top speed on this thing is pretty weak it is really not that great however it does handle very nicely and it does accelerate very well it has a lot of grip this thing so you know you can uh you can go around corners pretty quickly with this it is a dune buggy so obviously it is very light which helps with its cornering ability that's probably why it is so good at cornering and everything like that um, it's a satisfying vehicle to drive i would say overall it's also pretty good off-road the only thing that really limits it is it's very very low ground clearance um, so you got to watch out for that i would not you know make this your uh, your main off-roader that's for sure um, there's definitely a lot better off-roaders in the game however it's it's not terrible it still does have pretty good suspension and uh it, it does an okay job i would say now of course it does have the proc proximity mine dropper as well which is very useful now this is only equipable if you've unlocked that through the bunker research so this will not be available for everybody neither will the 762 minigun and the grenade launcher upgrades for this thing both uh, both of those are conditional if you've unlocked them in the bunker and same with the proximity mine dropper so a lot of the things that i've put on this vehicle are only available if you've pretty much fully completed your bunker research. So you gotta watch out for that. These will not be equipable by default. Now, that is not to say that they are not good. Obviously they are good. That's why you have to unlock them. Um, the proximity mine dropper is very useful for taking out vehicles, you know, that are driving by, you know, behind you or people that are chasing you. Um, it can definitely help with this thing. As far as the armor goes on this thing, I'm pretty sure it literally takes one explosive and it will blow up. Um, I'm about 90% sure of that. So it's not exactly a very strong vehicle. Obviously, it doesn't offer you really any armor protection at all. Um, it's a dune buggy. It's pretty exposed. The minigun that the passenger gets access to is uh, it's it's good, I guess, but it's not exactly the best, that's for sure. Um, it does deal out a relatively good amount of damage. The equipable grenade launcher is also quite good. It shoots explosives, so... It's just like the handheld grenade launcher. And even the default machine gun is pretty good. Uh, none of them are going to be able to stand up to anything that has missiles, that's for sure. Like a Toreador would absolutely destroy this thing, I'm pretty sure, unless you got really lucky and were able to take out the driver before they got a missile off. But let's be honest, that's probably never going to happen. So 
In terms of usefulness, the Dune FAV uh, for the price, not super useful, I'm not gonna lie. I love this thing. I do think it's a really unique vehicle and a really cool vehicle at that, but it's just not the most useful use of your money, I would say. Now, in terms of a fun vehicle, the Dune FAV, I would say, scores pretty high. It's it's pretty fun. Uh, you can off-road it. You can drive really quick with it. You can go around corners with it. It does have relatively decent performance with the exception of the top speed. I can't necessarily say that I definitely recommend picking it up because for the price point, there are more useful vehicles i'd say a default insurgent or a karen karuma armored are both kind of better uses of your money but obviously if you've got both of those um you could buy this thing however you could also save your money and buy a different vehicle that uh, is more useful like the insurgent pickup custom for example or maybe even the night shark um you know, if you got enough money for this thing, you've got half the money that you need to get a Night Shark and you've got about a third of the money you need to get an Insurgent Pickup Custom. So just be aware of those things. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for the Dune FAV customization and review in Grand Theft Auto Online. If you guys enjoyed this, if you learned something, a like is of course appreciated. If not, dislike, subscribe if you guys are new and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.